Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I am still sick. So that's that. I've got some emergency for me this morning because I do have to get some work done today. But then after that, I am gonna chill because I just still don't feel good. Yeah. I did this side, but not this side. And honestly, I feel like it didn't make a difference today, but whatever. I'll still do the other side. Okay guys, hair and makeup is done. I feel like I really tried to make it look like I'm not sick. It kind of worked. Also, I'm wearing this skirt I haven't worn yet. It's like one of those mid midi skirts, like a denim midi skirt. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's kind of fun. But okay, first before I start filming, I wanted to address the Joshua Tree House because I don't know if I have yet. I still get a lot of questions about it, especially after I just did the video about maybe not doing a short-term rental in 2025. And so obviously that affects the Joshua Tree House as well. A lot of people wonder how that new California tax that was proposed would affect the Joshua Tree House and if we still plan to do it. And the thing is, it's all dependent on if that bill actually passes because right now it's stalled. So maybe it won't even pass. I think in that case, it's still, it's still even if it doesn't pass, probably makes sense to turn the Palm Springs House into a long-term rental because it would make more even if I did that now. But but with the Joshua Tree house, it's a little different. First off, we are still planning on doing the Joshua Tree build. We still don't have the permits. We haven't started construction or anything like that. And there are two things that are really like affecting on whether we do it or not. One is interest rates. I would say that's a bigger factor even than that bill because this is the thing about Joshua Tree. There's not a lot of hotels. There are barely any hotels. They're mostly motels, like a Motel 6 kind of thing. So when people are looking for a nicer place to stay, it's pretty much just short-term rentals. So the bill doesn't affect you as much in Joshua Tree as it does in Palm Springs because you're not really competing with hotels as much because if someone's going to stay at a motel then they weren't even considering staying at a higher end Airbnb. It's just like a different type of customer, right? Or client or whatever you want to call it. So that's that. The thing that's a bigger factor is interest rates because when you build a house, you have what's called a construction loan. Then when construction is done, unless you're paying with cash, of course, when construction's done, you refinance that into a traditional additional 30 year mortgage or you just pay it off the loan if you have cash. Interest rates being so high right now is not a great thing because if we had started the build a year ago and we we're now finishing it, refinancing at an 8% interest rate would suck. It might be hard to break even, even short term renting it out. I'm not totally sure. It does seem like the short-term rentals out there that are modern new builds like the one that we are planning are still booking out really well. They're still doing really well and you can tell because if you look at the reviews, there's a lot of recent ones. Um, that's really kind of how you know and that and if you look at the calendar going forward, that can also be an indicator. But yeah, that's a pretty big thing. My camera's about to die so I'm like, oh my god, I gotta hurry. But yeah, that's the biggest thing is the interest rate. And so what we're seeing right now is interest rates are probably peaking that's at least what true clear value tax made a video saying let's say we started the build it'd be reasonably maybe six months from now and interest rates were slowly starting to go down that would be more ideal timing like if we could refinance something lower i would hope my hope is they get back down to four or five percent i don't think they're ever going to be at two or three again but like five that would be more reasonable, four or five. So that's kind of my hope. That's why I don't mind delaying it further because, you know, if interest rates go down, that's good news for us in terms of the loan on it. So we are still planning on it. The bill, I don't think it affects Joshua Tree as much. I do think Joshua Tree is more saturated. There are a ton of rentals out there now. That's the one thing that makes me a little nervous, but I still think it for an area with a national park, an area so close to Los Angeles, it's just... It isn't actually a big destination, even though it's just a desert. Like, it's a national park, and then there's not a lot of other stuff. There's some restaurants, but it's not like Palm Springs, where there's like a ton of golf courses and restaurants. There's not a lot in Joshua Tree, honestly. It's for people who want to go to the national park, really. So that's like the big draw. And people can still do a day trip if they want to like, you know, or people who want space. They want like a house to be in for the weekend that's less expensive than Palm Springs. So that's my thoughts on that. We are still planning on moving forward with it. 
Um, but yeah, just maybe a little bit delayed, which is fine. We're not in a big rush. It's not like I'm out there living in Joshua Tree until it's done. It's more of a remote thing. And then I can go out and check on it probably every couple months and give you guys updates when we do start construction. So that's the update on that. Hope that makes sense to you guys. And yeah. Okay, I gotta charge this. Okay, I got some b-roll just now that I needed for this video. I'm gonna edit it in. See if we can get this done. Uh, for use if you needed to. Then heading into this hallway, there is a small utility closet. Heading into the hallway on the right, they've got a small utility closet. That I don't think I ever showed you the rest of the stuff that I got from Castlery. So I'll show you. I mean, first you guys know the couch. I'm obsessed with the couch. It's the Mori sofa. It is a sofa that you can order different parts of. So you can get just this part. You can make it even bigger. I got a sectional and it's really comfy. And what I've pointed out before is I love the base of it. I love that it's oak and it matches the oak. And I love that you can get like a side table piece. You can get a matching coffee table. I just think it looks so good. It's so chic. It's like a little different than your basic white couch that you see all the time. I think it's a little more stylish, so I love it so much. And also love, I mean, white couches, keeping them clean is sometimes tricky. They have zippers, so you can unzip it and wash anything that you need to wash. With any white couch, you always wanna make sure you have one that you can unzip. Like, trust me, you're gonna want to at some point, even if you're very careful. Like, I'm very careful, and people are careful when they come over, but like, still eventually, you wanna wash it, so love that. And then you guys also know, sideboard. This is the Sawyer sideboard from Castlery. I think it looks so good. It's like 71 inches. It's cool because it really does give you a lot of storage, and then it also also comes with shelves that you can put on any um, like I guess height that you want like there's notches in there so you can or there's like holes where you can put it in there so I'm gonna do that at some point I haven't fully decided like for now I just kind of stuck stuff in there but I am gonna organize it a little better soon but I desperately needed this storage space I got all my tennis stuff in this one this these are all the shelves and then I put some camera stuff in here and my printer and printer paper so this is it i love the black outline i think it looks really good the quality is good i had the white glove delivery so i don't think any pieces needed to be assembled for that i'm pretty sure it all just came as one it just looks so good i love the oak i'm a big fan of oak as you guys probably know so this will be linked down below is my outdoor table so don't mind i do have my skis and my suitcase out here just pretend it's not there okay it's my that's where i'm storing it for now until i can take it to palm springs i'm going to take that stuff to palm springs but this is a teak outdoor set it looks so good so you can put an oil on it each year if you want or you can let it patina i'll probably do the oil because i like the look i got the set with four chairs and these they have cushions which are super nice waterproof really cool there's a spot to put an umbrella which would be really nice if you have it in an area where you don't have shade you know, it, it fits on this balcony, but I think it's gonna be even better when I eventually have like more of an outdoor space, I'm thinking more long-term on this one, but I think it's really nice. I love this teak wood, super pretty. Okay, so that is all of the castle repicks. I'll link down below all of, all of the stuff that I got. I got that video done and sent over to the brand. So that feels good to have that done. I actually found this really cool old clip that I had that I had never used in a video on one of my hard drives that I was able to finally use. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up food. And I don't wanna sound repetitive, but this is just getting very repetitive. You already know what I'm gonna say. I'm going in the hot tub. We're back. I got a different soup this time. Greek farro soup, it said. Let's give it a try. Mix it up from the tomato basil. I know my life is so exciting. It is, it is so unexciting the last few days. Oh my gosh. Like even running the errand to go get this was like just nice to be out of my house. All right, gotta take this thumbnail photo, I put on makeup. The thing about putting on makeup when you are sick, it just feels kind of gross, but uh, I did it. 
Okay, so let me put some self timer. Oh my god, I feel out of breath because I'm sick. Oh my god, I normally I never edit at the couch, but since I've been sick, it's been a godsend. Like it's just nice to like kick back and relax over here. Okay, let's edit day took that many what the heck really it's kind of a lot okay what how's that so blurry don't mind all the smudges <laughs> but we're gonna try and see if we can add a purse here i'm gonna have to redo this though because it needs to be like smaller Let's see what you got photoshop oh that looks pretty real wow that actually looks good so photoshop generated this purse for me and then i'm going to add this gucci logo so i need to select it just because i think for the video that'll really be good oh my gosh okay, this is gonna be a tough one <laughs> All right guys, boom, DIY Gucci bag. It looks so real. That's so funny. <laughs> so I do talk about a designer bag in the video, but it's in um, my parents' garage, so I couldn't actually take the photo with it. And it's a Givenchy bag, not a Gucci bag, but yeah, you guys will see. It's a video about financial mistakes. And surprisingly, I say the bag isn't a mistake, but I do talk about that in it, so. Yeah. Okay, but we are not done. We need to bring this like where my hand is. Okay. Oh, I just want it to be just the bag. Okay, so we have to make it look like I'm actually grabbing the bag. So we're gonna make another layer of my hand put over it. See how now it's kind of over it. Although when you really zoom in, you can see. So there we go. Because otherwise, if we didn't do that, it, my hand's cut off. It doesn't look real. And now it looks much more real, but I just need to clean it up a little bit. All right, I am back. I ordered sushi, cause I'm still sick. So it's a free for all with Postmates, like I mentioned. Also, they took over two hours from my order the other day. So I got credit back. So I was like, all right, let's use it. Um, I feel like I'm getting less, I'm getting over the cold, which is great. Um, but let's eat them. Kazunori, you guys know I love. I got two crab rolls this time. I love the crab. everybody it's the day before thanksgiving and we are heading to greenville today which was kind of a, a last minute ish plan it was like a three days ago we decided on this we were gonna go to bump springs for thanksgiving and christmas in saint lucia but it was just getting to saint lucia from the west coast is a lot and very expensive traveling over the holidays is like one of the most expensive times of the year too and being someone that works for myself i really try and take advantage of traveling and like in the middle of february when it's really the cheapest too so yeah it just would have been pretty expensive yeah this way we don't have to pay for a hotel because sam's family is going to saint lucia for christmas but we'll just go to palm springs for christmas and it will be much more economical okay i'm finally feeling better finally i feel like you can tell because i'm not like complaining about being sick anymore even though you know it's hanging on a little bit but i'm way 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 better thank god because it's gonna be like an eight hour travel day so yeah also try I've, i don't think i've ever actually gone to the airport the day before thanksgiving this is i think the first time i'm ever doing it and i just know it's gonna be crazy there so should probably not check a bag should probably it's just gonna be so packed i bet you wait my flight's not till noon i'm good i'm good fuck what all right guys, I'm just about ready to go to the airport. I'm all packed. Okay, so obviously the day before Thanksgiving, the traffic is pretty bad. And we knew that, but it's so bad that we decided to just walk. It's so funny, we decided to get out and now I just saw one other person just get out now because they saw <laughs> us. Because we have our suitcases. We, yeah, we so inspired them. It's a 25 minute walk. Or it was gonna take even longer in the car. And that's not that bad, we get some exercise. We're so close now. And I'm sweating so much. I'm just like, thank God I don't feel as sick anymore because this would be so awful to do two days ago. I lost my wheel. It's it's melted. What? Yeah. Almost made it to the airport. Now to go to terminal three. Airport one, Shelby zero. We've lost a wheel. Happy 
Thanksgiving vlog fam. I really like Thanksgiving because it's not a religious affiliated holiday. I feel like so many holidays, Christmas for example, always overshadows Thanksgiving. But Christmas is like, I'm not religious really, so I just don't really resonate with that aspect of it. And then the other aspect is like consumerism. So just both parts of it, I'm like, I like the festive, the music, the vibes, all of that, the lights, the coziness, but just some things about it. I'm like, huh? But then we have Thanksgiving and it's just about being thankful. Like how wholesome. I love it. Thanksgiving, it's a good holiday. I will say, hot take though, the food is not my favorite. I'm sure the food we're gonna have today is gonna be really good. That's not like say anything about who's cooking it or whatever, but just in general, turkey, stuffing, things like that, it cannot compete with like pizza, for example. So that's the thing that's kind of funny is everyone like fills up on Thanksgiving food and they're like, oh my gosh, Thanksgiving. And I'm like, I feel like Thanksgiving is just my Friday evening when me and Sam go get pizza and pasta, you know? But we're gonna pick up some Prosecco so we can make Aperol spritzes. I'm finally not sick anymore, so yay. Hello guys, it is the day after Thanksgiving. I don't know why I checked my phone for that, I know that. Anyway, ow, just hit my foot really hard, ouch. I decided to not vlog yesterday because I just didn't want to and i deserve a holiday off you know from vlogging but i got a couple iphone clips but today we're gonna go to a little winery with uh, sam's sister brother-in-law and like some family friends of theirs and it looks really cute so that'll be fun it's also black friday i don't plan on buying anything um and here's why the deals are not that good black friday is just i feel like it's not a thing anymore if you look on the websites the deals that i'm seeing are the same deals that they have going on all the time so it's like i don't know and i feel like they kind of trick you into just buying things you don't need my family also we don't do like a gift exchange we really don't do that anymore and i like it that way so i don't need anything you know i would like to buy a rug for my apartment that's pretty much it but i looked on the websites and the deals are no different than they are every other day so i'm not gonna feel pressured into buying something today you know okay glow screen so i accidentally grabbed this from monica oh god go shake that up okay i'm using this glow screen monica left some of her products oh in dallas and i grabbed them but nice okay so it's like a shimmery sunscreen that you wear under your foundation should be a nice little highlight 